Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about Procreate. We are going to create some really cute stamp brushes in Procreate with the new Procreate's Brush Studio. So let's just get started. If you don't want to create any of these brushes, I also have this brush set for free download. You can find it on my blog and um, download it. And I'll leave the link in the description below. You can go pick it up from there. So let's click on new. And here let's go to the square size, which is a default option in Procreate. So first off, we're going to make the background black. So just click on these layers and click here. And now take this, you can go to classic and then click this and bring it all the way down to this corner so that it becomes completely black. So now we're going to draw our elements or these cute characters or any kind of stamp that you want to create. So first of all, you want to go ahead and select white for your brush. I've done that. And now in brushes, you can choose any brush that you like, the shape that you want it to be. But I'm going to go ahead and click on inking. And then I'll click drying because I like this grainy texture of the brush. So we're going to use that. If you're not really good at art, this is the step which you can follow instead of actually drawing everything from scratch. I have downloaded a photograph onto my iPad and I'm just going to show you like click on this button here and you can go ahead and say insert a photo. And I have a photograph of this cute little thing here. So I'm just going to extend this one so that it covers the entire block and it's as big as this and click on this arrow so that the image is placed in here. And now I'll just go ahead and click on layers and click on this button N and reduce the opacity to as much as this. Now click on this plus to create a new layer. And now we have selected the color as white and the brush as whatever brush you want to select. And you can just draw on this and uh, make your cute character. something like this and then you can uncheck this and you'll have your element ready obviously this isn't a very good example but i just wanted to show you that you don't really have to be good at drawing cute characters you can actually draw whatever you want to draw and then still create this stamp brush so don't let your drawing skills stop you from creating these things okay let me just go ahead and delete this because i don't want this clear Okay, all right. So let's draw our first character. So I'm just going to draw something very simple. Um, something like this, I guess. And then let's make a goatee for this. And let's color some parts. So the whole trick about this is I'm going to color some parts as complete white and leave the remaining as, I'm just going to leave it blank. So this is how your brush is going to look like. I don't know what this is, but it's just a random character. Okay, now we go ahead and export this. Click on this button here and actions and click on share. And let's export as JPEG. And now let's save this image. So once you have your images saved, now it's time to create this into a brush. So click on your brushes here in the brush library. Just pull this down and you can see this plus button. So let's click on that. And now you're going to create a new folder for your brushes because you don't want to add it to anything else over there. So let me just call it as tutorial. Okay, you can just click outside. Now you can add your brushes in here. You can also, if you click on this, you can rename them, delete, share or duplicate or whatever you want to do. So once you have created all the brushes, you can actually share them by clicking on the share button and it will export it and you can save it somewhere or put it on apps where you can actually sell these things as well. Okay, that's unsuccessful because I canceled it. Now here you can press this button to create a new brush. Okay, so this view is different when it's in the landscape mode and when you go back and when it's portrait mode it looks a bit different as well but since i cannot cover this in the video format i'm just going to go back to the landscape mode all right so first off we're going to click on shape and we're going to edit this shape here so here you can click on edit import 
import a photo. Now go to your all photos and click on the object that you want to be made as a brush. Click on done. So now you can see mm, this is not right. This is the new brush studio and we have a lot of things here that you can change. So you can actually click on count, you can click on scatter where it actually roams around and forms a different kind of brush, but we don't need that. So we'll just leave all these things as it is. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and edit it. So first of all, click on stroke path. And this is basically where you have to edit this to get this. So I'm just going to click a straight line here. Now, if you click on the spacing and just increase this a little bit, you can see it gets spaced out so much. So you can adjust this and I'm gonna keep it at around 75 or so. This really depends on how your artwork looks like. So as you can see, so this looks fine. And now if you wanna clear this, you can click on drawing pad and you can click on clear drawing pad. You can also edit things here, like change the color of the brush. I mean, it is not permanent. This is just for a preview, that's all. So you can put the brush preview size much bigger as well. Let's keep it at this right now. Okay. Once you have the spacing ready, we have to edit other things. Okay, so let me draw something so that it's easier to figure out what we are doing. So the spacing is fine, but it's still very light. Uh, it's not as bright as this one, right? So what we're gonna do is we'll just try and go to other properties. I guess it's in the Apple Pencil properties. And here in the pressure, we'll just remove the opacity completely to the zero. That means even if you don't put any pressure, you're still going to get a very nice opaque stuff. And then you can adjust the size of the brush here. Let's keep it something around 35% because that is usually what I like as well. I'm just going to clear this and let's look at this. Now, if I click on this again, you can see that it's not really opaque, is it? So we're just going to go ahead and fix that. There's some setting here which is damaging that opacity for us. So let's go ahead and check at the rendering. There's something called as blending and which has flow in it. So if I increase this completely, there you go. So you get your uh, completely opaque brush ready. You don't have to change anything else in this setting here because most of the things come by default, like I showed. So the only things that you change are, first you go to shape and bring in your shape by clicking on the edit tool and then you don't change anything here. Next, you go to Apple Pencil and make sure you can increase the size a bit and reduce the opacity to completely zero. Next, you go to rendering and make sure the flow is set up to top. And about this brush, you can actually write in your name here so that even if you share it, it'll be like, oh, this person created it on this day and etc. etc. And also you can create a new reset point. That is, if you edit this brush and you don't like it and you want to bring it back, you should always create a reset point and say save. Okay, so we have selected a stamp preview. Let's go check it out. So this is how it looks like when you click on stamp preview. Now, if I want to edit it, I just click on this. And I go back to properties and I uncheck this and click done. And now you'll see it like this. So let's go ahead and check this brush out. Uh, let's just go to gallery because these brushes should be available all across. So I'm just going to click on new and probably take something like a A4 just because I can. And now let's click on some color because, you know, um, you don't have to stick to the black color. So let's click on this brush. Not again, but yeah. And if you click on this, you'll see this. Now, as you can see, this brush is at 46% and it's too tiny, right? When it's even complete. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this and I will go to the size, maximum size allowed and make it a little more bigger than this so that this looks much nicer. Then, yeah, now it looks much nicer. So you can go ahead and adjust your size over here as well. That is a brush behavior. You can also adjust the opacity of your brush that you don't want the brush to be too opaque or something, but I would not mess with this because you can adjust the opacity in the brush settings when working with the artwork as well. So let's keep it at max and um, this is done. So basically you can select some other color and you see, you can do that as well. So now there's one thing which you can do. Uh, I'm just gonna click on this and I'll just duplicate it. Once you create one stamp brush, you don't have to do the entire process again. It's pretty simple because you just have to click on drag on the right side and duplicate. Now we'll make a copy and now click on it. Now you go to shape and click on edit, import, import a photo, go to your photos. If you have created something already, I'll just bring this penguin, click on done. And now you have penguins and click on done. 
so you get penguins here and now you can actually draw penguins so it's so easy once you create one stamp brush it's much easier to create the others as well but let's just change one thing here i'll show you a cool thing right now so if you go to color dynamics now you can actually let me change the color let's go to yellow so you have yellow color so if you do this you get everything in yellow so i'm just going to go ahead and stamp color jitter so you can see the hue you can increase the saturation as well in secondary color as well maybe and stroke yeah let's do that as well mm. And pressure. We are not using too much pressure in when you are using a stamp brush, but when you are using a brush, something like a calligraphy thing, uh, then you are definitely using a lot of pressure. So I, you can increase the color, hue, or saturation over here as well. Let's click on Run. Now I've chosen yellow. I can choose any color I want. Let me choose this green. Now I just go ahead and paste, and you get them in different colors. I am not changing the color at all. But since we have set the color hue, it's. Uh, going to change this every single time and um, give us a different kind of color that's pretty cool isn't it and since i've set the pressure so it's going to be like that the more pressure you put it's going to be a bigger penguin all right so i guess we covered the stamp thingy but there are more things what can you actually do with it so one of the main things that i do is um i have a let's just get in here and shapes here I have my logo or whatever marked in here. So if I go there and let me undo that. And if I click, if I'm doing some artwork and I just want to put a watermark, I just go ahead and finish artwork and that's it, bam, done. And it's so uniform across everything. So I don't have to worry about it as well. So you can use stamp brushes for this as well. And you can also make things like custom made for and stuff like that. But I also use this to make different designs. For example, these things right here. This, by the way, was a freebie that I offered for my newsletter subscribers. So if you want to pick this up, it's still available. Just head over to my blog and you can find it, find this in the newsletter freebie section. And this one is something very similar. I can just, you know, and make different shapes and sizes and uh, create beautiful things out of that as well. So, okay, so I guess that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And that's how we actually create uh, Procreate brushes, especially stamp brushes. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And that would mean a lot to me. And share it with your friends. And do go ahead and pick up the freebies. It's fun to work with these cute stamps. And uh, you can create a lot of things with it. For example, I created this sticker sheet. Uh, you can actually use it as a coloring page or anything that you want. And um, okay, so I guess I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you have fun with Procreate. Bye.